In this video, I want to show you how you can file KRA returns for those who are employed. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to log into your iTax account. And you can do that very quickly by using your KRA pin and your password okay and then after you log in i want you to come to returns and then say file returns you click on that and it is going to load you this page and on this page you are going to now do the kra returns okay now you can read these steps that you are going to follow in filing this return so number one click on the links below to download the return form so you need to download this form and you'll be filling it fill the excel or ods return form and in this video we are going to use excel provide the details requested below upload the excel or ods return uh, from using a uh, browser button okay so here we are going to download this very file so the first one is for excel so you'll click on the link and the link will redirect you where you can download this form now once you have downloaded it i now want you to open that very file so all we do will open it in excel and in excel we are going to fill a few things before we go on google and and file the returns now in the first place there you are being asked to put your personal identification number which is your kra pin and by the way these uh, uh, fields that have an, a star, a red star on it, that means it's a mask that you fill in the blanks, okay? So you'll find this information blank, but I've just pre-inserted the information there so that I can make this video as short as possible. Now, the first thing to do is to fill in your PIN number, and you'll do that pretty quick. And then the return type, you just click on this icon and choose between original and amended but for this case it is original then the return period it is from 01 uh, january 2022 remember we are filling for 2023 so the return period is usually a year back so that will be in 2022 then the return period too it is 31st of december 2022 now that is the only information we'll be filling in here and then you'll click on next now, on the next page, you'll be required to fill now the information about your employer. So the first thing they will ask you is the employer's PIN. And where do you get this? You now need to get your P9 form. So in this video, we are going to be using a teacher. So we'll be going into his account, download the P9 form, and use that P9 form to fill in this very Excel file. So I've already downloaded the P9 form. Now all we need to do is to look at our very P9 form. So from the P9 form, you'll get the employer's pin, which is in here. And all you need to do is now to just insert it in here. Then the, the name of the employer is TSE. And then the gross pay. The gross pay is the same as the subtotals for this P9 form. Now what are the subtotals for the P9 form? You come here, you get the subtotals are 929,706 0.00. So that is the subtotal, which is equivalent to the gross pay. So you'll take that information and then put it in here. Then the allowances is zero, value of a car benefit is zero, net value of housing is zero, pension if excess of 300,000 is zero, and then the calculation here is done by Excel, which they take A plus B plus C plus D plus E, which gives us this total. That is all you need to fill in this page. And then you'll click on next. On the next, again, you are being asked to put there the pin for your employer. All you need to do is to just put it there. Then the name of the employer is TSE. Taxable salary. Now, taxable salary is the same as the subtotals of this P9 form, which we realized was 929,706.00. Now, tax payable on taxable salary. Now, here you'll do some calculations. Now, when you come to this uh, P9 form, you will take the total per year. 
pay as you earn, okay? That is 187,512.00. And then you will add it on the total MPR, okay? And the total MPR here is 28,800.00. So you'll take this per year plus MPR, which will give you now the value that I've just placed in here, which is 216,312.00. Then the amount of tax deducted, that is per year, is the same as the total per year, okay? And the total per year, you've just realized that is 187,502.00. And then the calculation here is done automatically by Excel, which takes now the tax payable on taxable salary minus the amount of tax deducted, that is per year, which gives us 28,800.00, which you just realize is our total MPR, okay? That is all you need to uh, do here, and then you click on next. On this page, section Q, there's nothing you, you fill here, so you just click on next and then on this page there are two things you're going to fill first you will fill defined or pension contribution you will find it blank but you'll put there 0.00 remember in the in the about information we put that the pension was zero so you'll hold you also so you will also want to put zero here so that it is in line with what we put there in the beginning then the next thing you now need to put there is the personal relief and here the personal relief is the same as the total mpr which is 28800.00 once you do that this value will be calculated automatically by excel okay so that is all you need to do you will use your p9 form okay and this information you are going to put it here there are some calculations you need to do the calculations are pretty the same so i've just used one for teachers you can have a different one maybe for a company or for a school it still applies then after you fill all that you now need to validate this information and all you do you click on validate now excel will examine the figures that you put in and it will state whether it is valid or not once it is valid, it is going to allow you to save it as a zipped file. And that zipped file is what we are going to upload on the website. And then the website will extract the information from the zipped file and then put it on the KRS servers, which will now do the calculations and now give you a receipt that you have filed your KRA returns. Now it is complete. They are telling us sheets are ready to be uploaded. Do you want to generate upload file all you need to do is to click yes then it's telling us you find the zip file here now it's in the documents and all you now need to do is to go and upload it now uploading it is pretty easy all you need to do is to go back to your browser and then you'll come back to file then file returns and then you'll put here the period of time you want to file then you choose the file and locate the new file that was created so it was created in the documents so maybe i should show you in the documents and then here it is okay here it is uh but there i'm recording uh, at midnight you see it is 0012 so this is the file that has just been generated and all you need to do now is to select it put it in this browser and then kra will extract the information and file your returns now i don't know if you have any questions i don't know if i moved too fast if i did that please i'm sorry you can pause the video rewind the video and in case you have a question drop me a comment i'll know how to help you i hope that this video helped you and if that is the case you already know what to do hit that like button and my friend you can also subscribe to this channel and not only subscribe my friend ring that bell so that you do not miss any other future video that we upload on this channel so that is pretty everything you can click anywhere on this screen and watch the next video and then i hope that i will see you in the next video peace